Happy 2024. I hope this year brings you everything that you wish for and more and that it is your year. Let me know what you guys did for New Year's Eve. We were very lucky to spend New Year's Eve at Cella V Bar. As soon as it hit 12 o'clock, we had a direct eye level view of the fireworks going off at Taipei 101 and it was such an incredible sight. And then we spent New Year's Day mostly sleeping in bed and at night we went for a walk and visited Raho Night Market. As soon as we entered, we were greeted by an incredible sense of the black pepper pork bun. It was actually Michelin recommended, there was a massive line, but we were served and received our bun within no more than two minutes. It was so delicious. That one absolutely recommends. And moved on to the steamed rolls and we chose the shrimp and pork flavor. So good. She then poured like this soy sauce based sauce on top and then we added this chili sauce. Oh, it was a match made in heaven. So, so delicious. After that, we went to get the black pork sausage. They chopped it up and put some sauce on top. That one was my favorite of the night. And then we tried stinky tofu. And personally, I thought it had no scent. We got the fried version. It came with three pieces and you can choose the spice level for the sauce. We cooled down with a sugar cane tea, which was delicious. And then finished off with dessert. We got bing fen. So today we are doing a day trip to Taichung and in the following days we're going to do another day trip to Jiufen and Shufen. So yes, very exciting episode today. We're currently at Taipei Main Station and we're going to get the high speed rail which is going to take about an hour. And yeah, we're just getting some breakfast right now. <laughs> I just got a cream cheese bagel and an orange juice for Macca's breakfast. Tea with cream pudding looks so good. I think we're going to stop here and get something sweet. So this is what they have on their menu. I do love a creme caramel or the brownie looks really good too. Brownie with ice cream. Um, creme pudding. at this ice cream slash cookie slash chocolate store and the interior is so pretty it looks like it belongs in the set of harry potter or something but like a chinese version so stunning so much detail here it's actually a work of art on the outside part there is an ice cream shop attached to it and you can get ice cream with some of the biscuits and cakes all in one. It's actually really cute. We're gonna go line up for that now. Our beautiful Sunday. We got two scoops. Went with the I think it was like almond and sesame chocolate Venezuela. For the toppings, chose a cheesecake and a pineapple cake. There's strawberries. I think that's like lemon sorbet and then this beautiful butterfly cookie mm. oh i love the sesame whoa 
that chocolate is like it's like dark chocolate but there's like an aftertaste to it I quite like it <laughs> resting our feet we walked around took some really really cute photos and now my feet hurt because like these Gucci loafers as cute as they are they're very stiff shoes so my feet are like killing me I would love a foot massage our train back to Taipei is not for another hour and a half and then we're gonna go back and get some sushi tonight. There's the same sushi chain from Japan that we had and it's so good. So we're gonna battle it out and see if we can eat the most plates. But right now I'm like still really full from all the desserts and sweets that we had today. I feel like I don't think I even ate any savory food yet. So looking forward to having some seafood a little bit later. Yeah, the scenery is really pretty right now. We're kind of like on train tracks that they've made into seats and my battery's gonna die, so bye for now. It's a rainy day here in Taipei. It's like 17 degrees today. It's probably the first day of our trip that it's actually felt like winter. Starting our day a little bit late today. It is currently 1.30 p.m. and we woke up late because we had a really late dinner last night. We ended up getting conveyor belt sushi, had a little competition on who could eat the most plates and yeah, I was cutting it very close. I had 16 plates to myself. And then we stayed up a little bit late watching the latest episodes of Singles Inferno, which was very juicy. We're here at a place that serves soy milk, savory soy milk and cold soy milk as well. They do breakfast items, but um, they're open till 9 p.m. So luckily we were able to come here a little bit later and um, yeah, very excited to try the food. Got our Taiwanese breakfast. This is a salty soy milk soup and it's got yo tiao in it. I've got my iced soy milk drink. Michael got a hot soy milk drink. That is my chai bao. And we also got like an egg pork scallion pancake. Mm. Soy milk is so good. Let's see what's hidden underneath. Mm. Let's add chili sauce. Give it a mix. Mm. This is the chili sauce you need to add to everything. Product of Taiwan. I'm gonna have a bite of the omelette now. Mm. Nice and flaky. I think we should add chili sauce to this. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so flaky. Vegetable bun. I love a good steamed bun. Oh, yum. Do you want some? Put some chili sauce in it. Mm. The bun is so fluffy. So we've come to this place called Rongjin Gorgeous Time and looks like it's just like a whole bunch of different cafes and dining, little like kiosks and cute shops. So let's go check it out. Very cute aesthetic here. I like it. Mmm, donuts and bagels. This one is not open yet. Looks like a bar. Oh, that one's the dumpling bar. Mom, bon, bon. Oh, how cute. Little tango stand that turns into a cafe. It's very like Japanese influence. <gasps> Kimono high. And this one looks like a Castella cake store for gifts. 
we've decided to go with this bagel shop, supposedly the best bagels in Taiwan. I think I'll be the judge of that. There is a wide variety of savory and sweet bagels. So I think I might get the bagel and spread combo. Got this cute bagel and spread combo. So we've got our little bagel pieces here and that one is a strawberry and berry jam spread and then this one is like a peanut spread. And then we got this cake which looks really good and then like some coffees each so having a nice little snack. Solid bagel and a lot better than the one I had from Mecca's the other day. It's like a tea base flask cheesecake. It's good. And I'm thinking like, I'm kind of glad that we came here on a rainy day because there's a lot less people and I think on a sunny day there would be a lot more tourists or people here to take photos. Exploring this street called Yong Kang Street and it's got like very cute little cafes, boutique shops and um, I think it's like the trendy part of Taipei. As you can see, lots of very cute stores and shop fronts. I do really like the vibes here. I don't know why but this store here reminds me of the antique store in Whisper of the Heart. When I have a peek through, I just see like some cute little figures and knickknacks. This store here looks intriguing. It looks like, you know, like the Arnott's biscuits with filling inside. I like the ones with peanut butter or even the lemon biscuits. Mmm, those look good. This is here. It's got like a chewy consistency because it's Nougat cookies. This one. This one is the pineapple cake one. Mmm. Yum. We're gonna get a box of the coffee Nougat biscuits. This one is 180 Taiwan dollars, which is like nine dollars. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm actually freaking out. So salt bread is one thing that I've been dying to try from Korea. I've been seeing it everywhere on my feed and they sell it here. I'm literally frothing over everything in this store. Oh my god, it smells so good. This bakery smells so incredibly good and I am immediately drawn to the salt bread. I'm gonna get one of those and I also really want to get one of these cream filled Buns. Wow, this garlic bread looks amazing too. Okay, I think I might want to get one of these pork floss buns as well. Oh my god, one left. There's a brioche bolo bao, which is like the pineapple bun, but on a brioche bun. Oh my god, I'm having the time of my life. Oh, there is a pork floss puff. Ugh, that's a tongue twister. Pork floss puff. Pork floss puff pastry. This bakery is insane. I'm gonna get a scallion and pork floss bun. Oh, this is one thing that I usually get. It's the custard filled brioche and I always get it when I go to like Bread Top in Sydney. But there's like a strawberry custard version. Okay, should we get one of these? Let's, yeah, I usually get that. This is what we've chosen. We've come back to Zhongshan to get this bun bun for dinner. Let's go in. I feel like today has been like a non-stop eating day. So we got two buns. One is fried chicken with tomato and lettuce and the other one is a Japanese fried shrimp bun also with tomato and lettuce and we got one of them in a combo so it comes with chips and a drink. I'll try the chip first. a good chip. Mm. I like that it's like fried on the edges or outside and then 
everything's stuffed in between. So I think they get like a normal hot dog bun and then slice the sides off. Mmm. Okay. Comes with like a generous serving of tartar sauce as well. Let's add some of the chips in my bun. This is the way to eat it. Mm. Back at the hotel now, we're just sitting in bed watching Parasite and we've got our snacks. Just going to have a second dinner. I'll try the salt bread first because this is what caught my attention. Cheers! Mmm! It's hollow. Kind of just tastes like normal bread but with salt on top. <laughs> but it does taste good. Mm. <clears throat> Try this one next, which has like the custard filling. This next one is pork floss and scallions. Mm. Hello, hello. We're doing another day trip today. We're going to Jufan and Shufan. It's gonna be a pretty long commute. We have to get a 50 minute bus ride and get a train before stop. So it's gonna be like up to two hours commute altogether from where we are. So two hours there, spend the day there and then two hours back. But yeah, looking forward to it. And I'm glad that the weather cleared up because yeah, it would have been really shitty to go in the rainy weather. Finally we have arrived, there are so many people and there's like a bunch of stalls and street food so going to explore. I'm going to buy this bag because I think it's very cute with my feet right now. We're gonna do the lanterns here. So you can choose which colours you want and each colour represents something different. Everyone is customising their lanterns. You can write and draw whatever you want. We're going to do that right now. We've written everything we wanted to say and now we're going to get ready. Oh, the sun's coming out too. This is the perfect <laughs> time. We made it to Jufen, which is at the top of the mountain. We are walking through like this shopping street. 
and going to try and find a nice view that overlooks the mountain. Getting really, really hungry. Every second store is selling braised pork rice, so I might get that for dinner. This smells so good. There's dried eel too. I've never seen that before. Wait, is that dried eel? It is, isn't it? Arowana bone. I used to have arowanas as pets. They are. Oh my god, salmon floss. That's a thing. I love pork floss in my kanji. I feel like salmon floss would be a game changer. I'm going to try a bit of the salmon floss. Mmm. Well, this is another type of salmon floss. Yeah, mm. mm. this And one more. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I need to bring this back, it's so good. The view here is so spectacular. I love that it's so similar to Spirited Away, which is one of my favorite movies and I loved it growing up. So yeah, I'm loving it. There's something very nostalgic about the environment here. I don't know, I love it. This tea house is stunning. I am feeling so overwhelmed by the amount of people that are here. I feel like since we got here, it's just been tour group after tour group after tour group and just never ending. And people are just like crowding around the same area to take photos. So to get from point A to point B, which is like, not even 50 meters, it's taking us like 20 minutes, which is kind of frustrating, but I guess that's what you expect when you come to a very touristy area. But with all the amazing views, I think it's definitely worth it to come here. We've just stopped at one of the restaurants here and we're gonna have the real fun. And we also got some Chinese cabbage and xiaolong bao. <laughs> Getting ready to go to Taipei Main Station. We can actually drop off our luggages at the station and then I think it gets transferred straight to the plane. So I'll show you how we do that. So since we're flying with China Airlines, which is a Taiwanese um, air courier, we can actually do the in-town check-in. So we're at Taipei Main Station, which is like in town, it's 10 minutes from Simending, and we can drop off our luggages at the MRT station, train station, instead of having to lug it all the way an hour to Taoyuan Airport. And I think that's really cool. So at the train station, there are these counters where you can do the baggage security check. Instead of having to do it at the airport, you can do it for China Airlines, Mandarin Airlines, Cathay Pacific. Okay, that has worked. So once that's done, you just head over to the self-baggage drop area. <sighs> that was one of the busiest 
most security checks I've ever been through at an airport, but at least we made it through, ready to board our flights. Thank you Taiwan for being so amazing. It's been a very, very enjoyable holiday. I definitely will be back in the future. But on to our last leg of the trip, which is Tokyo. We'll be there for the next six nights. So I'll see you guys in the upcoming vlogs. Thanks for watching.